Greetings all, it's Gerald Clark with you on December 15th, 2018. And I wanted to bring you up to speed on uh, what I've been up to. Um, after finishing the Odyssey Key game design document and doing a little bit of networking, I took a little downtime after this massive development and uh, got some rest and been thinking a lot about a lot of different topics that I want to bring to my subscribers and to my audience. Uh, but for today, uh, I'm going to focus on kind of showing you uh, what got me back out of my uh, doldrums and back into uh, starting to continue with this mission of sharing the Odyssey Key story in whatever method uh, works, whether it be a movie or a game. Speaking of movies, I'm very excited about uh, the new movie Aquaman that's coming out. Uh, what a great story. Anyway, um, so inside, uh, we're inside Unreal Engine now, and just for fun, I'm going to start uh, the game um, uh, up high on top of the sphere that most of you probably never knew was up in the sky. I did it so that when, if, when you go out to the edge of the terrain board that uh, uh, you can um, see where the center of the board is. I'm here. What are we doing? Oh, let's turn that down. Okay. Okay. Let's turn it down about right there. Okay. Um, so we're standing on top of this sphere, and the first thing I want you to notice is uh, all of a sudden we're in a first-person shooter perspective, not a third person. So that was the, one of the things that I implemented was the ability to do that. And if you look uh, in the front, I've added a little aim point there, just as a cursory place to start so that uh, we'd have an ability to <laughs> see where we're shooting. So uh, I guess uh, with that said, um, I'll, I'll demonstrate going from first-person shooter to third-person shooter uh, in the game as well. So let's walk over the edge here and see where we're at. Okay. Yeah, right. Well, whatever. Let's just jump. Okay. Ah, we just jumped right in the middle of the lake. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, the next thing I w wanted to mention is in the lake, I've uh, I've added a pretty cool. Um, feature which is called a reflective plane so you can see in the water uh, um, all the reflections from around you. I didn't do it to all the water I just did it to this particular lagoon, Lagoon del Muerte and uh, behind me is probably oh yes there he is Prime Helix. Oh so you can see on top of his head he's got a little dunce cap <laughs> to identify him as part of the red team so um, let's go ahead and just give him a, a few shots and uh, you will go up and take a closer look <laughs> so you can see on the hat uh, he's a member of the red team under Revenant whoops I just ran into him and caused him to fall on me let's get out of here <laughs> and so the hats have a really interesting all-seeing eye on top of them now in this perspective first person you can see the widgets you're picking up a little more closely and this one is the emerald tablets of fall so we should see that over here, okay, up in the upper left-hand corner. I've got some messaging allowed to do that and see that. Uh, the other thing I did is I upped the, uh, the water damage. Let's go down into the water here. So you can see I just lost almost 75% of my armor by hitting one of those uh, traps. And you can actually die in the water just from uh, uh, over um, exposure to the radiation and the poison that's in the water. So you can see if I keep messing around the water here... Uh, Let's see. Yeah, let's go over here. All right. Well, I guess I'm not hitting him. Let's see. Make sure I can take care of uh, Rampage. He's got the next thing that we want. Oh! All right. You probably didn't see that very well. Let me turn around and give him a few more shots. He's dancing. Okay. <clears throat> this right here really bright. You can see the Aurora's belt right there. Boom. Okay, let's get that. Now, over here in the water, we got this Water Grux with his dunce cap on. He's part of the red team. <clears throat> so, uh, we're going to go ahead and kill him. Now, look over here. You see Seraph has a blue dot over her head. So, she's uh, part of our team. So, we don't want to shoot her. Okay. There we go. All right get it okay so you can see our widget showing up there on the left we're accumulating them okay so now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna switch over to another perspective for you so now I can go to third-person perspective you can see I've got my blue dot because I'm part of the blue team 
Okay, so that's kind of cool. So you can go back and forth when you're covering a lot of terrain and want to be able to see around you. This is a, a good way to do it. All right, and then if you want to shoot something and you're up close and want to shoot, then uh, you can switch back over to the. Where is it? Number seven. Okay, number seven takes you to this perspective, and then you can shoot here up close and get all that kind of fun stuff. Okay, so now we've got all the all the goodies. <clears throat> And let's see. I'm going to probably add some stairways or some walkways through here. I know the pathway to be able to ascend the mountain based on the slope, but I probably will add some ramps and things like that in there to, excel, to facilitate that. And in the upper right hand corner, you can see uh, I lowered the camera and changed the perspective so you can I can actually look up at the camera now and you can see me looking up at it there. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Oh, there's the blue ball up in the sky that we jump from. <clears throat> that is a target, by the way, and yeah, that can be shot as well. Okay, so well, let's go on in here. It really changes the feel when you're in a first-person uh, shooter mode like this versus third-person. There's Revenant. We've got all the goods, so he's not going to come to life, but I did add a couple of little surprises in here, so uh, we get to have a <laughs> at least a little melee encounter with uh, Rampage, another version of him so I'm not gonna mess with him right now but we'll uh we'll add his health meter and all that stuff and make him throw rocks and do every other bad thing to us okay <laughs> so and at this point we can switch back over to this perspective and go back inside here it's funny this platform is kind of shaking because it's part of a uh, blueprint animation and my motion on it causes it to do some weird things sometimes it's kind of weird all right anyway so we go in and step on the blue dot and then the game's over and uh, mission one's accomplished. The other thing I added uh, last time, which some of you may not have seen. Oh, so you can see in the upper right hand corner since I lowered the camera, you can actually see inside the portal chamber now. Whereas before it was kind of poking through the roof. <clears throat> and at the final uh, completion of this training mission, uh, this is Odyssey Key level one, mission one. You can see we get a nice video comes up and plays up in the upper left hand corner. Uh, this was a video that uh, Richie Barron and I collaborated on, so uh, it's pretty great. Anyway, so that's all I really had as an update for today. Um, I, w I did want to say that uh, I was experimenting with two uh, more multiplayers, and I, that's starting to progress some, even though uh, there's lots of networking issues when you start doing that. But uh, I think we're getting a handle on it. So this has been Gerald Clark with you on December 15, 2018. Odyssey Key Update. Thanks for watching. To change the basic DNA, make the future workers for the mind.